Hey, what's going on? So if you watched my last video on the most important part of an online business, then you would have seen that I talked a lot about social media and how the content we put out on social media is the most important part of an online business. That really is the foundation. That's how people get to know, like, and trust you. That's how you can really show people what you have to offer. And it's all about putting out free, valuable, consistent content that people can really look at and say, hey, that is for me. I want to work with this person. I want to do business with this person. Now, there's a couple of reasons why it's super, super important to be putting out social media content. I covered a few of those reasons in the past video. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much depth on the importance of social media content. But one thing I didn't mention in the past video was this idea of the idea of buyer readiness. So if we have a pyramid right here and this pyramid is a representation of the whole market, if you will, like your whole niche, your whole market, the, the, the customers who are interested in buying from you. If this pyramid represents all the people who are ready to buy from you right now, let's say it was tons of people. Each of these dots represents a person who's, who's, who, who would be willing to buy from you. Maybe not now, but in the, in the very near future. Um, these are all the people who you could possibly sell to, okay? Let's just draw a few more dots. These are all your customers. If you could sell to each of these customers, your, your top product or service, you would be a bazillionaire, let's just say, okay? To all the people who are interested in buying from you. Now, here's, here's the fact. Here's the reality about this, okay? Only about 5% are actually ready to buy from you today. It's top 5%, okay? The next portion, the next, let's say, let's say 45% um, are ready to buy from you within the next three months. Yeah? So you have 5% who are ready to buy, with, buy from you like today, within the next few days. And then we got 45% who's ready to buy from you within the next three months. So let's say uh, today, and let's say three months. And then let's say this bottom 50% is ready to buy from you within the next 12 months, okay, the next year. Now here's, here's how a lot of people go after social media content and they, they make blunders left, right, and center because they're going after the wrong group, okay? This is what they do. They make content that says, hey, go out there and buy my thing right now. If you like this video, go buy my course. Or if you like this video, go check this out and, and go buy it. Or, hey, you should sign up for my course. You should buy my book. Most people, most of your competition, are attacking this top 5%. And I'll, even though there's a lot of people there right now who are willing to buy, it's only 5% of the entire uh, entire map here all right so rather than attacking this five percent the competition is doing competition what you want to do is you want to actually foster relationships with these people right here and the way to foster relationships with these people is to actually put out content free helpful valuable content that lasts forever on social media lasts forever on youtube specifically youtube is probably the best platform for this because instagram people just keep scrolling and it's basically gone but youtube you can search for it and it'll be there forever so you want to focus on putting out content that is targeted at the people who are going to be ready to buy from you 12 months from now or three months from now now sure people who are going to be ready to buy today will buy today you don't need to push them or incentivize them really at all um, unless they've indicated that they're they're really hot uh, how do i draw a flame here unless they're really hot let's just say it's a flame Oh God, I can't draw flames. Um, but if you have a really red, red hot buyer and they're ready, ready to buy today, sure, send them to a funnel and they'll go buy the thing on their own. You don't need to push them or anything. So I like to build relationships with the people who are ready to buy three months from now and who are ready to buy 12 months from now. That way, eventually they will trickle into being the people who want to buy today. And then of course there's people even who are here who you don't even know about. And these are, these are ghosts. And this is my ghost face. Um, these are ghosts who, who people aren't even born yet, right? These are people who are like, are going to be born in the year 2020. Eventually, they're going to be people who are ready to buy from you today. Yeah, but you don't need to worry about those people because they'll, they'll come in on their own accord. Now, the way to actually put up this content, you might be wondering, okay, what does this content look like? What does this 12-month content, this three-month content look like? Well, it's actually very similar to this today's content, um, and this is how it looks, okay? So... I did, I did buy a double-sided whiteboard, but I put my whiteboard too close to the wall. So I can't just um, flip it. Like, I should just be able to go flip like that and be double-sided, but it's too close to the dang wall. So I got to back it up from the wall next time I make a video so I can have an instant clear side. So here's how to make content for the people who are going to be ready to buy 12 months or three months from now. That still attracts the, the today's buyers as well. So you can still be getting recurring revenue today. Um, 
Here's your ideal customer, okay? Let's say this customer's name is Bob. It's also, it's a really good idea actually to draw up your perfect customer avatar. Like what's his or her name? Where do they live? What are their problems? Uh, what sort of income do they have? What do they do every day? Um, have a perfect customer avatar so you know who you're dealing with. For me, it's Bob. In fact, one time I was writing a bunch of emails and in my placeholder, my subject line email holder, I put Bob just so I can see what it feels like. It says, hey, Bob, would you like this free gift? And I have Bob as my placeholder. And I forgot to remove the placeholder and change it with like the, the, the brackets first name thing so that anyone who receives the email receives it in their name. So if someone's name is Tim, it says, hey, Tim. If someone's name is Sarah, it says, hey, Sarah. But I left Bob up there and I got like hundreds of emails back saying, who's Bob, who's Bob, who's Bob? So this is Bob. If you're wondering, Bob is my perfect customer avatar. And Bob has desires. Bob is here right now with his life and he wants to be, this is what Bob looks like now. And Bob wants to be here, okay? So there's Bob now and that's where he, that's where he wants to be. Now, your customer is the same thing. Your perfect customer avatar is the same way. They're somewhere in their life right now, in some area of their life, and they want to be here. So maybe, maybe um, let's say Bob right now is only making, let's say Bob right now is only making 500 bucks a month online. That's a great start, Bob, and I'm, I'm proud of you, Bob. But um, if I want to take Bob from 500 bucks a month to, let's say, $10,000 a month, then there are certain things I'm gonna to need to get Bob to do. Okay, so he's at 500 bucks a month, he wants to be at 10 grand a month. Now, your perfect customer is gonna have something similar. Maybe they weigh 150 pounds and they want to weigh 130 pounds. Maybe they're only able to do one pull-up and, and they wanna be able to do 20 pull-ups. Uh, maybe their, um, their dog is barking at every person that walks by and, and they want to have their dog not bark at anybody when they walk by. They want the dog to be quiet. Maybe the dog bites, they want to not bite. Maybe their kid is, is failing a math class, they're getting an F, and you want to help their kid get an A plus in math. The point is every, every customer out there, they, they're somewhere now and they want to be somewhere. And so there are things in between that they can do to get there. And this is the, this is this, the steps in between from where they're now to where they want to be, that, that should be the premise of your content. So let's say there's, this, there's three, two, let's say, sorry, let's say there's three steps here, one, two, and three. You have steps one, you have steps two, and you have steps three. Now, if I were to give Bob three steps to go from 500 bucks a month to 10 grand a month, these would be my three steps. And again, you're gonna have your own steps for your person, your ideal customer. And these steps can change over time, but for the most part, if you were to give that person advice right now, if I were to give Bob advice right now, these, this would be the advice I would, I would give him. I'd say, okay, Bob, first you need clarity about what it is that you're doing right now, and what's working and what's not working. Like, let's just get clear on what you're doing now, what works and what doesn't work. Let's also get clear on what you want to do. So let's get clear on, 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 um, on how much Bob wants to make. He wants to make 10 grand a month. Let's get clear on what Bob wants to sell. Let's get clear on what, uh, what, actually, what Bob wants to help people with. That's really important. If Bob can get crystal clear on what he can help people with, I can help him make 10 grand a month, no problem. If Bob is crystal clear on what he can help people with, I can help him make 10 grand a month, no problem. So clarity is the most important thing here. And the thing I recommend for clarity is not just say, hey, Bob, get clarity. That's not really helpful. I would tell Bob about my experience with my dopamine fast. So I'd tell Bob, hey, Bob, I wasn't clear on what I wanted to do either. But once I did a 24-hour dopamine fast, I got crystal clear. I got to work right away and went on to build the most profitable online course I've ever built in my life. I've done that a couple times now. So dopamine fast is the way to go. And again, I wouldn't just tell him to do a dopamine fast. I'd tell him about my story about how I did my dopamine fast and how I got crystal clear as a result. So it's a story about dopamine fast, DF, okay? That's the first step. I'd help them with clarity, and, I, and as I, with clarity, I'd give them the prescription of a dopamine fast. And in between saying what he needs and what he should do, I tell him a story about how I did that. And the reason you wanna tell a story is because stories sell. Yeah, facts tell, but facts don't get people to take action. Facts do not get people to take action. If facts got people to take action, the whole world would be vegan because there's so many amazing facts out there to say how beneficial veganism is for the environment. But facts don't tell, stories sell. So, or sorry, facts don't sell, stories sell. So we need to tell stories about how we got that result ourselves. That's the key right there. We gotta tell stories about how we got that result. Now the second step I would give Bob is say, okay Bob, once you're clear on that one thing, I want you to create a freebie funnel. Freebie 
funnel. And I want you to tie it in with your social media value. So plus social media value, SMV, social media value. So you create a freebie funnel. And Bob, I want you to give away a free book. And I want you to make 10 pieces of social media content that each promote that free book. Okay, and again, I wouldn't just say to do that. I would say, here's what you need. Now tell them my story about how I did it. My, my story about how I did it as well. Okay, how I got started with that. And why funnels are great. And why you got you to gotta sandwich it in with social media value. So I tell Bob about that. And then the third step I would say is once he's crystal clear on what he wants to do, he's got the freebie funnel set up and the social media value set up. Then I would tell Bob, Bob, you know what? You need to come up with a webinar. So you have a webinar and I talk about my story about how I went from not having a freaking clue how to do webinars to now having it be my main source of income. So story about that and how I was able to make over 18 grand a month just with funnels and webinars. Um, so story about 18k and I talked about how you know I was super broke at rock bottom financially and then I was like okay what can I do to get get out of this I got crystal clear on what I need to do created the social media funnel and the, and the, and the sorry created the freebie funnel and the social media value sent people to a webinar and ended up clearing over 18k month after month now I think last month was 20k so money's really really good here and I would tell Bob about these three things I'm like Bob you need clarity you need a freebie funnel and you need this webinar these are just three steps out of a potential like 30 steps I could have picked from these are just the three I thought of top of my head right now while I'm making this video. But these are really good three steps, by the way. If you are not clear, get clear. If you don't have a freebie funnel, create a freebie funnel. If you do not have a webinar yet, put together a webinar. Um, if you're curious about how to do any of this stuff, I teach it all at tedcarclass.com. Uh, it's a nice segue actually right now. So tedcarclass.com, my name, class.com. Boom. And I'll teach you how... I did this and how you can do it as well. So if you are a Bob, if you are making a few bucks a month right now online and you'd like to be making 10 grand a month online, I can show you how I did it and how you can do it as well. Um, if you're not quite here yet, if you're not at 500 bucks a month online, you got zero dollars a bucks a month online right now, that's totally cool as well because I can help you with that as well. Um, one of my favorite things to do is help people make their very, very first sale. So if you're at zero dollars right now and you'd like to make $2 a month online or $10 a month online, I can show you exactly how to do that as well to get the ball rolling. Because if you can make that first dollar, Heck, you can replicate that and go all the way up to 100 grand, million bucks, whatever, like per month. It's just about scaling results, scaling success. So if you're interested in this, if you are a Bob and you'd like to be making 10 grand a month, let me show you how to do it at tedcarclass.com. Hope this was helpful. And uh, yeah, this, this is what you want to do. You want to make content about these three steps. Okay, so that's it. Focus on these three steps. Make content about clarity, make content about freebie funnel, make content about webinars. And then also, some backup content because you might get bored of talking about these three things. You got to talk about all the things that get in the way. Like what prevents somebody from getting clear? What prevents somebody from making the freebie funnel? What prevents somebody from making the webinar? What's holding them back? What limiting beliefs do they have about these things? And then you make content about that, letting them know how you overcame your limiting beliefs about those things as well. Because I'm sure you had limiting beliefs about all the steps that you would prescribe to someone right now. You talk about that as well. And uh, you can do it in these short 5, 10, 15 minute videos that are free, valuable, and consistent. You put these out on a, like I said, consistent basis and uh, you'll, you'll be good to go. So this is the content you put out. And then in each piece of content you do put out, make sure to send people to your freebie funnel. Make sure to give something away for free. I'm giving away a class, a one hour masterclass at tedcarclass.com. Uh, and as well, I'm giving away a free book. It's at veganmoneybook.com, veganmoneybook.com. Can't spell. It's okay. And that book is called Vegan Money 2.0. Vegan Money 2.0. The book is completely free. And uh, it's at veganmoneybook.com. So that's it for now. Hope this was helpful. I'll be making a lot more videos in the very near future. Take care. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. And see you at takeourclass.com.